Is that lithium also? It is. Dang. Um. Power restored. All primary systems online. Don't crash your sea glide, holy man. This is all lithium also. Dang it. <laughs> um. Yeah, the beacon's fine being in the base, why not? Oh wait, Rex, right. So we're here. I think we went to that one. So there is one towards the aurora. Well, I'm not crazy. Um, creature egg we don't care about. Wait, wait, I used to have a thing to do the teeth. Dang. For sure that's one we already went to. Well, let's just shut this down, because we don't need it scanning right now. What can we make? Magnetite. I wonder how we get that. We don't really need it to be faster, so that doesn't really matter. We do need lead, though. Um, dang. Sea glide, power cell, lubricant, glass, and lead. We have one glass. I don't. I think we have a lubricant either, so we'll have to go grab a thing. Silicon rubber. Not there. Here? Yes. We don't have a lubricant, right? That's really laggy when you do that that fast. Okay. I can't believe I, it died. That sucks so bad. Uh, okay, need that. Plasteel. Two lithium and a titanium. See, stalker tooth. Um, do we have a, like a creaturepedia thingy? Habitat, equipment, repulsion cannon. Indigenous life forms, fauna, carnivores, stalker. Okay, it is that thing. Weird. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, shale outcrops. Whatever. Okay. The data downloads, codes, and clues. Disease research facility, thermal power facility. Quarantine procedures will be automatically okay. Set blueprints to the Aurora's main computer. There's a high security terminal inside the captain's quarters behind the prawn bay. There's a code, okay. Life pod four. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of logs in here. The Grassy Crew Manifest Marguerite Mieda? I, I butchered that, I'm sorry. Uh, born on the Mongolian states. Do, do, do. Dishonorably discharged 15 years ago. Age of... At time of disappearance. Okay. Let's I thought it might listen be to this. living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. 
but I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, mm. and so the chain continues. Cool. Co-evolution gives me the fuzz. <laughs> These are kind of long, holy man. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But... Father won't let me leave the habitat. That's how. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. That's how humans work, though, right? We're just invasive. Oh, we missed uh, two. Son, there is always a pecking order, and in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. <laughs> we let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. Yeah, it's true. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning. Real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. Weird. <laughs> You're mad. I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Uh oh. A lot of you know dogs what here. Peter told me today. She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> This family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne arm. Made her think she's better suited to lead? Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. Yeah. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Lived 160. Here, a mortal. A maida is useful. So, 
It's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. What? You crashed us? If we get off this planet, <clears throat> they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of oh, the I don't like that guy. Screw that guy. Uh, okay. When the hostilities of the expansion cease, the tactical value of the hard-to-reach colony systems on the edge of the China territories plummeted. Recouping from the war, the central government left them to starve. Of course. The systems in question declared independence, claiming the infrastructure as their own and their intent to become self-sufficient. Today, the Mongolian states have been relative minor power on the outskirts of the colonized space, yet it remains one of the fastest expanding transgovs in the galaxy. Mongolian societies inherited their technologies from the Chinese, but incorporated the customs of their multicultural base. Non-synthetic foods remain popular. Religion is a strong component in society, but the Mongolians take a relaxed view on competing faiths, believing gods to be universally and equally flawed. Okay. Well, there's a lot of lore there. Uh, I keep closing it instead of just, uh, you know, doing my own thing. I'm gonna keep these big waters because they're better. Vital signs stabilizing. Make an assault. We're not gonna have more salt than we know what to do with now. And uh, we can make another water quickly. So we need lead, right? If I'm not completely mistaken here. Oh wow. Nice. It's a good amount of water now. Uh, salt. Salt. Okay. So we need lead. Hmm. Let's try to decide what's the best way to do that. It's weird there's no mod station here. You must have to find it, right? I remember there being one though, because I mean the Seamoth has modification slots, so why would there not be a modification bay? I do remember there being one though, in the early access version. So it's saying if we drop chunk of salvage by those things it'll bite it and break its teeth off okie dokie hey you I need a uh, lubricant so we're gonna have to like stay in danger zone here for a minute and hopefully find some seeds there we go Maybe we'll make two lubricants. The base is that way, so I want to go this way. Proposed habitat, hey. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get down there by myself. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency device. Yeah, I know. But I have the bigger tank now, so maybe I can get away with it. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Nope. I'm gonna die if I do that. I have that feeling already. Maybe there's another hole, like, closer to it. Maybe, like, right above it or something. We can check it out. Hey look, another wreck. Perfect. Let's get some water. Uh, water. Get some air first. A 
I'm trying to get to the surface slow so I can um, not like bounce out and around and waste a bunch of time. I really wish we had the submarine though, but can, oh, this is the one we've been at. Dang it. I wonder if there is another hole over here somewhere. It's a long ways down, if there's not. Like, we have to go way down and then over? Maybe that's the point of it, I guess. I don't know. Quartz? Yeah. I think we used to get lead from these, right? Copper. What is that? Creature egg. Don't really need that because we have no place to put them right now. Oh, look, here we go. Nope, maybe not. Oh, wait, maybe it is. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Look at these thingies. What are you? Okay. Well, let's go get some air. Then we'll dive very quickly. We'll go straight down to that thing. Sucks that we can't, like, check the radio out here. I know the bigger sub, the Cyclops, like, it's like a base, right? Should have brought the rebreather, maybe. Didn't really expect to be going this far down, if I'm honest. I don't even know how far you can go down before you just die as a human. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. How greatly? Very greatly, okay. It's just proposed habitat too, so if we get down here and there's nothing even down here, it's gonna be something substantial, right? Shoot. Well, we're halfway. Do we die or do we turn around? There is a base. And there is like an enemy. Which is scary as shit. Is it flooded? Detecting a titanium mass somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. How do we get in? Oh, it's flooded. We're toast. Damn it. There's no way we can make it out in time. Yep. Seconds. We're dead. Ah, oh, this sucks. Oxygen. What are you? Can I scan you? Crab squid? Well, that was a terrible idea. It's so far down there. I don't even... But I mean, our... I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I should finish my words. Our Seamoth can't even go below 200 without it getting destroyed. So we somehow need to... Oh shit, we lost the good water? Come on, game. Really? Nothing wrong with me? That's interesting. I 
priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attack. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial. <laughs> Signal location uploaded to PDA. Um, that was weird. A lot of life forms. I hate all these things. I wish there was like a faster way to like just be like, yeah, get away from me, like. Do I have to scroll it for it to get cleared? Is that what's going on here? I think I would have learned that by now. The Mesomir thing is weird. Um, okay, just a bunch of stupid plants. Okay, so we still need lead. And our... Sea Glide ran out of power. At least it didn't take our big battery, which is nice, I guess. Carrying priority passengers remains, okay. Did I get too close to that other base and it, like, disappeared it? Dang it. That's very, very unfortunate. Quartz. Creature egg. Okay. Oh, it came out after me? That's neat. It didn't come though? I keep hearing like static. It's kind of weird. Right, let's see if we can get some fish going here. Cause our dude's getting hungry. Oop. I missed it. Missed it. Got it. Um, Gary fish kind of suck, but I mean, no, I can't just grab it. Like. Come on. Whatever. Come here, Gary. Please? Please allow me to... <laughs> I'm gonna get you. There we go. Dummy. Thank you. I don't know why it was being so rude. It's like weirdly, weirdly calming in the water here. Guess I just suck at aiming today. Oh. Run away! Yeah, I'm just looking for a little outcropping so I could find some lead. Copper. Titanium. Jeez. How do we find the lead? Going. 
Oh yeah, did we lose our thing for lubricant? Or did we already make it? No, I don't think we made it yet. I think we collected it on the way out and then we died by me just being silly. Okay. It's not full, we just... Oh, it is full. Okay. thought we had one spot left. It's just mad. Let's get back to our base. I just... I don't know. It really threw me that the dang Seamoth got destroyed, you know? I just... Uh, how annoying. I mean, I repaired it, right? And then we... dove down a little farther and just explodes? Like, how unfortunate. We seem to be making quite a bit of food lately, huh? Eat the Gary fish. Um, oh well. Filtered water. Well, I might as well make up everything, I guess. Oh. Here we were just advancing the story and everything, and then it just kind of screwed us over a little bit, which kind of sucks. We need the lubricant. What do we got here? Wire and battery, which we don't need at the moment. Uh, need the peeper. Let's store this stuff so we don't lose it. Like noobs. Uh, the glass, too. Dump the titanium in there. Okay. What's this one? Weird stuff. We'll put that in there. I think this made us a water. Yeah, it did. Cool. We're gonna have too much salt. Don't know what to do with it in a minute. Is it still charging that battery? Jeez, that takes a while. Okay, so we have the cell, we have the glass, we have the lubricant, we need a lead, and we, the titanium ingots, nothing. 